All right, hey, Tyler here. I'm jumping on to show you how to hook up your Google Analytics in uh, the new world order where Google is sort of rolling out a new Google Analytics. Uh, so this is a, a sample Kickstarter page. Obviously, you can see this is early on. And so uh, I'm going show you how to hook this up even before your campaign has launched. Um, this is an uh, upcoming Comics Tribe project, but uh, obviously very bare bones. So uh, first, you need to know where you're going to put your code when you're going to get your code. Um, and that is over here before your campaign launches. If you click on the promotions tab, when you're sort of in the campaign development uh, section, promotions tab, you scroll to the bottom. And here's your section for Google Analytics. And you'll see that the code that you're going to be putting in here is a UA code. And the and, and so that's what you need to post in here. That's what Kickstarter is working with right now. And uh, the problem is Google's new analytics uh, that they're that they're rolling out uh, is no longer a UA code. So what do you do? Well, for right now, what you do is you're going to follow the similar process to uh, doing it as before. You're going to go to admin. You're going to go to create property. And it's going to now look like this. And you're going to have create Google for analytics property, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you don't want this. You want to go hit show advanced options. You want to go, it'll say create a universal analytics property. This is the earlier version, um, but that's what we need to use right now. So we're going to click that. And because Kickstarter doesn't uh, support the new Google analytics, um, then we really only need to make a universal analytics property. So that's what I'm going to click. Okay. Now I do need to put in a website uh, URL in order to get to the next step. So I'm going to actually just put in my uh, URL for my preview page. It doesn't really matter what you put in here. Uh, you just have to put something in here. Um, so I'm going to do that. Also just a reminder, um, if you copy and happen to copy the HTTP TPS and you paste that in here, um, that will be redundant with this and it won't work. So you want to have HTTPS is here and then the rest of the URL is here. Okay. Um, I'm also going to go up here and give this, looks like I, I still have to give this a property name. Uh, so I'm going to call this uh, happy hill, happy hill Kickstarter page. And I'm going to put my time zone, which I have to do, and US dollar amount for my monetary stuff. All right. So now it gives me the ability to hit next. I'm going to hit next, answer a couple of questions. Um, here we go. Just end tap, and I'm going to hit create. And it says success. So awesome. And now it will show me right away here's my UA code my tracking code um, that will bring it to me um, in the tracking information. Um, it should also be in property settings. And this is the code I'm going to go and I'm going to paste right in here for my Google Analytics uh, in the Google Analytics section of my Kickstarter and I'm going to hit save. Okay, so there you have it. Now, I, in the future, I imagine Kickstarter's code base will update and they may support the new Google Analytics code and then I'll have to update this video again. But for right now, that's what you need to do in order to set up your Google Analytics. Um, there's one more thing you want to make sure you do. And that is going to be, uh, let's see if I can find it. It's going to be related to um, your e-commerce settings. So now I got to find where those are in this new, new world order e-commerce. Um, so that was Okay, so the last thing I want to do, though, before I'm done here, is I want to kick back to my admin view, make sure that hap my, my new uh, Happy Hill page is the page that's up with my uh, the same ID that I plugged in over here. And I want to go over to e-commerce settings and I want to enable e-commerce settings, um, enable e-commerce reporting. Yes. Uh, and so this is a little bit new. Um, and I'm just going to hit save. 
And hopefully that will just work. <laughs> uh, this is new, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, that will just work. Oh. Now, the last thing. Now, the last thing I want to do is uh, be sure that before I leave, I want to turn on my e-commerce settings. I'm going to go back to this overview, make sure that it's Happy Hill. That is my property that's selected here. And then go to e-commerce settings. Um, I'm going to, I want the first e-commerce setting turned on, actually. Now, the last thing I want to do before I go is I want to make sure I turn on an e-commerce so I can collect some uh, dollar amounts from my Kickstarter page. So what you do is you go back to the admin view here, make sure that it is your new Happy Hill Kickstarter page property that's selected, and then click e-commerce settings. Uh, you want to turn the first one on, but uh, the enhanced e-commerce reporting, you don't need that on. Uh, leave that one off and hit save. And you should be all good and all set uh, so that you'll be collecting data and you'll be collecting data on everyone that hits your Kickstarter page uh, from the minute your project uh, launches.